the Silver Collection continues to amaze. Hello everybody, welcome back to yet another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Silver Jackson Storm from the 2020 Silver Collection. So, let's get started here. I love these silver cars, they're just so cool. I just want to open this guy up and take a look at him. So, let's get started. We've got your generic Jackson Storm artwork, nothing too special. Got the McQueen logo there for the silver collection. On the back, you can see uh, Jackson and Chick Hicks, both of which are currently out. Stylish and speedy, these shining racers pay homage to the roots of racing. No, no, they really don't, but all right. So let's get this guy out of the package. Sorry for such a quick opening segment there. There's really um, not too much to say. But there might be a bit more to say regarding the actual car, since right now, looking at him, something seems off about the color of his wheels. So here is Silver Jackson out of the package, and yeah, they're really taking some liberties regarding the wheel color on these silver guys. Silver the King was just revealed the other day, and he has blue wheels, while the normal version of the King has gray wheels. Definitely pretty interesting that they are changing up the wheel colors on these guys. Anyway, let's take a closer look at Silver Jackson. He's just your typical Jackson Storm, now in silver. His uh, dark gray color has been changed to silver. The black sections on him are still the same color, which I think is perfectly fine. I think it looks really good. Got your generic Jackson Storm logos. Igniter, liquid adrenaline. He's frowning, got your usual expression. Moving on to the side here, again, we have blue wheels. Pretty interesting there. And his secondary sponsors, Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. Got another Igniter logo down there alongside the arrow. It's a pity he's nowhere to lift him up. We've got his 20 or 2.0 number. Of course, same thing on the roof there. And it's really, really hard to see because he's silver and it's written in a silverish color. But he does have his signature there. It's easier to see, of course, on his normal die cast. But you could just barely make it out. We've got the massive S here. On the left of the S, he's silver, and on the right of the S, his paint job is black. So it's pretty cool that that's used as a transition on the normal Jackson. Of course, though, a lot more subtle on the normal version of Jackson since these colors are closer in uh, color, and the silver is just way lighter than that really dark gray. His spoiler on the back reads Igniter Liquid Adrenaline, and he's got... Your typical detailing on the back, 2.0, igniter. He is missing his rookie stripes, though, which is pretty interesting since the original Jackson had them. I'm not too sure if he still has them, though. If I were to buy a Jackson Storm today, uh, whether or not he'd have the rookie stripes, he might not. I'm not too sure. This would usually be where, where I ask you guys, but I don't have comments anymore. There is the other side, and there is the base. Of course, I just mentioned that I no longer have comments, but if you guys do want to talk to me, make sure to check out my blog, link always in the description. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time, bye now.